योर क्वेश्चन इज द सम ऑफ द सेकेंड एंड द थर्ड टर्म इन आर ज्योमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन इज एटी फोर द सेकेंड टर्म इज सिक्सटीन लेस देन फर्स्ट टर्म गिवन दैट ऑल द टर्म्स इन द प्रोग्रेशन इज पॉजिटिव फाइंड द फर्स्ट टर्म तो नाउ वॉट दे टोल्ड सी दैट द सम ऑफ सेकेंड एंड थर्ड टर्म दैट मीन्स ए टू प्लस ए थ्री दैट इज इक्वल टू एटी फोर दे आर गिवन लाइक दैट तो फर्स्ट वी विल नो हाउ टू री राइट एंथ टर्म तो दैट इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर दैट ए एन इज इक्वल टू ए आर एन माइनस वन Here a stand for the first term, n stand for the nth term, number of terms. R stand for your common ratio. So now we will substitute this value here. A two. A two means what? A. It will be a r two minus one plus a r. Three minus one, that is a three, that is equal to eighty four. So if you solve this, you are get a r plus a r square, that is equal to eighty four. This we have derived something like this. Or here, if you take a r as common, so here you will get one plus r. That is equal to eighty four. So maximum we will get these two equations here. Next, what they have told see that the second term is sixteen less than the first term. That means a is equal to sixteen less than the first term. That means a two is equal to a minus sixteen. So now again we write it. What we will get? A R is equal to A minus sixty. Now bring this A to this side. What it will be? A R minus A is equal to minus sixty. Here A is common. That we will take it. So here R minus one. Is equal to minus sixteen. So what is your r minus one? Or you can say a is equal to minus sixteen by r minus one. Here we got a is this. If you solve this, what we will get? So here, if you solve this, a is what? So we can say a is. Eighty four by r into one plus r. So both are a. That means this is equal to this. Solve this. So here we will get what? This is equal to this. Now just cross multiply them. So here we will get minus sixteen r minus. Sixteen r square is equal to eighty four r minus eighty four. Now, if you see this, you can divide everything by four. Divide everything by four, and bring this to this side. This is negative; it will become positive. So, what it will be? It will be four r square. Plus four r plus twenty one r minus twenty one that is equal to zero. Now, now we will go go for middle term splitting. So now you can see four into twenty one is eighty four. So just we will go for the factors. Eighty four. So it will be two forty two. Again two twenty one three seven. Now we have to make Them twenty five. 
25 we have to make it so how it will be you can see this is nothing but what 4 r square plus 25 r minus 21 that is equal to 0 so we have to make 25 of this so we can see 7 into 4 is 28 28 minus 3 is 25 so therefore we will rewrite it as 4 r square plus 28 r minus 3 r minus 21 is equal to 0 so in these two 4 r is common so we will get r plus 7 here minus 3 is common Again, we will get R plus 7. So, therefore, we will get R is equal to minus 7 and R is equal to 3 by 4. We got these two values from here. Hmm? Now, they have told all that all the terms in the progression is positive. Every term is positive. So that means we should not take negative. Every term is positive. So we will take this. Only positive one. So R is 3 by 4. So what is your A? They have told to find out the first term. How? So we can say here. A is equal to minus 16 by r is 3 by 4 minus 1 so therefore we will get minus 16 by take the lcm here so lcm is 4 we will get 3 minus 4 by 4 so this is equal to we can say is minus 16 by minus 1 by 4 so now, minus 16 we used to write minus 16 by 1. So minus and minus get cancelled. So now, outer to outer multiply it, inner to inner. So here you will get 16 into 4. That is your A. That is equal to 64. So this is your answer for this question.